guys, this is Sapna Vyas Patel and in this video, I am going to talk about some easy ways that can help you lose fat and get in shape. What I have learned from my experience is that there are no shortcuts available. There are no magic pills or quick fixes that can really help you lose fat and get in shape. If there were, wouldn't everyone be doing it? Weight loss is no rocket science. It is very simple. All you have to do is, you have to create a calorie deficit. Now, what is a calorie deficit? The amount of calories that you burn should be more than the amount of calories you take on the very same day. So for instance, if you take 2000 calories in a day, then you have to burn 2500 calories on that very day so that you create a calorie deficit of 500. Now if you do this for 7 days in a week, you will lose about 1 pound. It is really not necessary for you to count calories as long as you eat low carbs, low fat and high protein foods. So it is very important that you choose healthy food options most of the time. Don't starve yourself. If you stay hungry for a long time, your body goes into a fat storing starvation mode. So you should be eating small meals every 2-3 to three hours. We all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So some of us don't have it. But if you have a healthy breakfast, then you are less likely to make wrong food choices during the day. Some healthy and yummy breakfast options are milk, eggs, Omelette, wheat flakes, idli, dosa, ugma, or paratha. Drink lemon with warm water first thing in the morning. It helps you lose weight, improves your digestion, improves your immune system, helps you remove toxins from your body, and gives you clear skin. Avoid empty calories. The idea is to eliminate sugar as much as possible because sugar is one of the worst things that you can eat. So you have to avoid products made out of sugar like chocolates, cookies, donuts, pastries soft drinks, juices, and alcoholic beverages. Stay away from fried foods. Even when they appear dry to you, they might have a lot of oil hidden in it. Now, this is something that we all know, but most of us ignore, and that is having at least three liters of water, that is about 10 glasses of water every day. Don't wait till your body tells you that you're thirsty or dehydrated. You should be drinking water at regular intervals. Whenever you're hungry during the day, opt for low calorie snacks. You can have air pop popcorns, banana smoothie, fruit yogurt, almonds, uh, sprouts, or any other fruits of your choice. Your dinner should be very low in calories. Some healthy dinner options are brown rice, vegetable sandwich, egg curry, spinach soup, or grilled vegetables. It's not right to eat late at night. So if you feel hungry after having your dinner, then you can have a warm cup of milk or handful of almonds. Eat a lot of fruits and vegetables as they are rich in fiber and fiber helps in proper digestion. Watch your portion size. Even when something is healthy, doesn't mean that you can eat a lot of it. Drink green tea. Green tea is full of antioxidants and caffeine. Both are good for fat burning. You can have up to 5 cups of green tea in a day. It helps you burn about 80 calories without doing anything. But mind you, when you're having up to 5 cups of green tea, then you have to avoid your regular tea and coffee to avoid caffeine overdose. Alcohol consumption can actually hinder your weight loss efforts as alcohol and weight loss are enemies. So drink in moderation. If you want to make the most of your workout sessions, then you have to eat protein-rich food after your workout. So you can have whey protein, milk, fish, chicken, eggs, sprouts or cheese or tofu. Whey protein is one of the best post-workout meals. Cardio is not the only way to lose fat and burn calories. If you want to lose fat and get a sculpted body, then you have to do cardio plus strength training exercises. You must do strength training exercises because lifting weight not only helps you sculpt your body but also helps you boost your metabolism. So you burn more calories even while you're resting. Focus on doing compound exercises while performing your strength training routine. Compound exercises are multi-joint movements. They help you build your stamina, strength and endurance simultaneously. Some examples of compound exercises are deadlift, clean and jerk, lunges, squats, push-ups and pull-ups. Spot fat reduction is not possible. Even when you want to reduce excess fat from some specific part of your body like your belly or thighs, even then you have to drop your overall body fat percentage. And to drop your overall body fat percentage, you have to do strength training exercises, cardio, you have to eat nutritious food, you have to keep your stress levels in check and you have to sleep well. All this combined will help you drop your overall body fat percentage and only then will you be able to reduce excess fat from the specific part of your body. Stress can also ruin your weight loss efforts. If you take a lot of stress, 
your body releases a hormone called cortisol. It is a fat loving and fat generating hormone. It especially increases your belly fat. Make sure that you maintain a good posture. It not only makes you look confident, but walking, standing and sitting in the right posture helps your body function properly. Don't be a zombie. Sleep for at least 8 hours. Don't surround yourself with negative people who drain you of your energy. I call them social terrorists. Instead, surround yourself with people who are positive, who help you, encourage you, motivate you in achieving your goal. When you embark on your weight loss journey, make it a point that you carry a must list and not a should list. What most people start with is a should list, something that they should be doing. So, when they are in a good mood, they follow the should list. I should do some weight, I should exercise regularly, I should be eating right. But what they fail to carry is a must list, something which is an absolute must for them. I must go to the gym regularly. I must be eating right. I must be leading a healthy lifestyle. When you carry a must list with you, you either find a way or you make a way. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any query or any suggestion, just drop me a comment below. I'll see you next Saturday. Love you. Bye bye. Just a stroke.